What's up fam? Welcome back to the Sybil Capert Family Pranks Prank channel. channel. Today we're gonna prank my girlfriend that her entire family died in a plane crash. <laughs> oh my god, babe. Babe, come here. Wink. <laughs> Your entire family just died in a plane crash. Are you devastated? A little shy. Yeah. <laughs> no one survived. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Pretty heartbreaking, right? Yeah. That's if you a... cry, we'll get more views. Cry. I can't cry. <laughs> Thanks for being a part of my bit. <laughs> Hello casting and welcome back to my bullshit. My name is Sybil and today I am um, I am gonna show you a bunch of terrible cheating TikTok pranks that I saw because who doesn't love emotionally devastating their partner for views? Now obviously some pranks, especially on TikTok, are very much staged, but because these are put on the internet with the intent of people believing them, we're gonna treat all of them like they're real and that it happened and that they did that to their partner. Bangersonly.com, where we have nothing but bangers. What? What are you doing? Nothing. What are you? Why are you? What 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 are you? Um, and just to tack on to that, he put in the comment section, she went crazy on me and broke glass at the end. Listen. Hilarious! You really got her, dude! <laughs> not only doesn't know if she can trust you, but your household items are also broken. Wow. Hilarious! <laughs> Did you guys see the epic ponage of when I wrecked my girlfriend's entire fucking heart and then our belongings were broke? Got him! Okay, I have to say, I know we just started this one, but the weird fake making out is actually making me internally cringe entirely. Oh, shit. That's hard for y'all to watch too. That's hard for me to watch. Like I said, I'm sure the vast majority of these are fake, but if it's not, not only are you like giving the emotional damage to your partner like we just said for the last one. But on top of that, you're keeping it going for way too long. Like she comes in, she's clearly like, what the fuck is happening? Trying to figure it out, breaking down a little bit. She's mad at you in this moment. She's mad at you and you are putting your hands on her to up the situation for content and removing her. And then obviously him falling on top of her wasn't on purpose, but that's just like now a physical thing that has happened because of your prank. Like she's probably hurt or could have been hurt by the fact that you, a grown man, just fell on top of her after forcefully removing her from the room because you decided to do a, a cheating, cheating prank. prank. I don't think cheating pranks are funny in the first place because of like how they can damage somebody's like feelings, emotional state, trust issues, etc. But on top of that, I feel like whenever I see them, people just keep it going for too long. Like it's like even if you genuinely think that shit's funny, why are you taking it to a level where somebody's actually like getting put in harm's way? Where is the thought process when you love your partner to do that? You know, going off the idea that it's real because they want us to believe this is real. So if it is, like what the fuck? Cheating prank on my boyfriend gone wrong. Okay, what's up with the fake bodies? Like I know they're trying to like make it look realistic or make it like look more interesting to the audience, but it's so uncomfortable. Yo, Leo, what the fuck is this, bro? <laughs> oh. It's fake! <laughs> All right. Like, I understand nobody wants to walk in being cheated on, but going to physical violence immediately just feels so off to me. Like, I understand you're angry, but to immediately, like, start punching somebody, I feel like I would definitely be heartbroken, but I feel like I wouldn't sneak in, grab something, and start beating the shit out of somebody. Especially because cheating's a two-way street. Like, your partner decided to cheat on you, and the person that's there is a part of the situation, yes, but they're not the person who cheated on you. Don't beat up anyone. Don't put your hands on people, especially in like DV situations. Don't do that. But I just don't understand 
understand like why these people are immediately going to like beating up the other person. It just doesn't make sense to me. If it's causing you that much pain, walk away from the situation and dump your partner. But even after realizing it's a prank, he like picked something else up again and punched it. And I'm like, doesn't feel healthy. And none of this needed to happen if people just didn't prey on their partner's emotions for likes on the internet. But also you gotta learn how to handle your emotions. You can't just go punching people when they do things that hurt you. Out of all of these, this next one is absolutely fake and it's like hard to watch. And I think this next one is also a great reminder that like these are typically made and aimed at children, which we'll dive into in a second, but let's watch it first. Baby, I'm so scared to tell you this. Mom, you don't have to be scared to tell me anything. <laughs> I don't want to tell you. You can tell me anything. You know what? I'm just going to be straight up with you. I cheated on you. Are you you're no, joking. I'm, I'm being serious. You're joking. Stop being like that. You're dumb. That's that's not funny. No, baby, and the Oscar goes to... <laughs> I cheated on you. Why are you being serious? You didn't cheat on me. You're such a liar. Baby. You're such a liar. You tell me you're joking right now, okay? Tell me you're kidding. No, you did it. You're kidding. Stop. Don't do that. You're joking. You're joking. You didn't do that. It's the zero tears and the... Okay, that one, so obviously fake. But like I said, when it's content like that, it's typically aimed towards children because children are the ones that are gonna believe it. Children typically like over-exaggerated material like that. And if you go to like the comments on their page, it's either adults being like, haha, clearly fake, this is so dumb. And then it's kids being like, oh my God, she looks so sad at the end. I feel so bad for her. Crying emojis. Like it's clearly like children watching and consuming this like toxic, content and like in my opinion like red flag kind of content to even be making for views but especially when you do it in an acting style that is so clearly meant for kids and like the thing is content like this still gets millions and millions of views and making money off of this but they're making money off of children not understanding that it's fake and then promoting this as being funny when really it's just fucking toxic or even like the children that watch it and believe it and then are in the comments like oh my god i love her like don't make her cry like they are feeling empathy for this person because they don't understand it's fake uh, it's just it's just like a weird side tangent that I think people do a lot with content where like it's like weird exaggerated like you see on YouTube like people doing like kissing pranks kiss kissing my sister pranks these my best friend kissed my sister pranks and it's like 20 million view kind of content but the vast majority of followers that are commenting and interacting with it are children that are now watching and subjected to this exaggerated weird creepy content it's like the same vibe Pranking my husband that he is cheating on me. I created an IG account and texted between the accounts. We will be not watching part two because I don't care enough to. The text that was something like, wait till you see his face with like the crying, like, oh, cutesy emoji. And he's clearly like confused and not understanding the situation, which is like shitty enough. But the reason I really pulled this one is because of how defensive she got in the comments when people were pointing out like why this might not be funny. And obviously everybody's relationship is different. If that's your thing, that's your thing, I guess. But clearly he didn't look very into it. It. He didn't look happy about it. He looked like like really upset and like worried. But okay, somebody said, not even funny, I would break up. She says, dude, chill. This is what I don't get. I would love to be happy in a relationship and you people just ruin it for fun. You think this too much. Red flag. Wait, what? I like this one too. It's just a prank. <laughs> the prank. <laughs> Genuinely, I don't understand how hurting your partner is funny, but on top of that, hurting your partner for views. It's not worth it. It's truly not. Even if at the end of it, they're like, haha, okay, I guess, like, uh, I guess that was a thing. Even though we see that's not always how it ends, like with the guy who punched the fucking jeans after, it doesn't always just end hunky-dory. That guy fell on top of his girlfriend. So even if in part two, he's like, haha, I guess, it's still just weird. So if you think it's bad enough that people are doing this to their own partner, at least that's voluntary on at least one person's side of things. And like I said, 
I don't get it if both partners think that's funny. I guess do your thing. I don't know. But at least that's like at least one person in the relationship consenting to it and wanting to do the prank or whatever. However, there are people who do cheating pranks on relationships. And if you don't understand what I mean, let me show you. Yo, what up, bro? How you doing? Hey, what's up? What up? Uh, Carl, remember me? I seen you at the party like last week. You was with like five girls. What? What? Who I'm, are you? I'm his girlfriend. You're his girlfriend? Yeah. How long you been dating for? Three months. Three months, and I seen last week with five girls. Dude, and I promised you was like, you guys were doing stuff. What? What the okay, fuck? Dude, is this like a fucking joke or something? Like, what's your name what? again? I'm John. What's? We was calling you John Legend at the party because you had five girls. What? I knew you. No, no. Are you fake? No, this is. You're lying. This is not your girlfriend. We've been together for three months. You and he was with this. girls this weekend? Well, he was with five girls. Bro, okay, you need to back the fuck off. Like, I'm not kidding. Is this really your boyfriend? What the fuck? I'm wait, sorry. Wait. I'm Is this really your boyfriend? Dude. That's, like, hard to watch. And also the I don't know how she believes me he, like, put in there. Most people are gonna believe that. If you go up to a random couple, assuming this is real again, and you go up to a random couple and you're like, wait, is this your girlfriend? Because, dude, you were literally fucking mad bitches at the party last week. Most people are gonna be like, what? Because, in my opinion at least, I don't expect some stranger to make up lies about something that detrimental for the sake of getting views and content out of strangers. Like, maybe I'm naive and just think too much of some people, but that's not where my brain's gonna go. Hey babe. Who's this? Sorry? Who's this? Do I know you? What are you talking about? Excuse me? We've been- uh, Who are you? We've been together for two years. Um, I think you're mistaking me for somebody else. No. I mean, I don't even know you. Like, what's your name? Two years? Two years. Me right now? I mean, I don't know her. Like, We're literally just together last night. No, what are you talking wow. about? I was... Are you fucking hey, hold on. serious? What are you doing? Yo. Are you really with another girl with my sister's right here? Yeah. Bro, I don't are you know, know her. my sister? I, I for real don't know her. Who, wait, who are you? We're supposed to I be don't dating. Know Are you serious right now? We've been there? together for two years. We so were just on. together last you know night. You know what? I think bro, no, I'm, like, I think I'm like, Bro, you gotta chill on my sister like that, bro? I, like, what? Y'all tripping, y'all tripping, bro. No. I don't know her, like, for real. No, what do you mean? You just came on my house yesterday. No, for real, come back. Oh, bro, I don't know. I know you don't, but your girlfriend believes it. Once again, just taking it so far for too long to the point where she breaks up with her boyfriend, leaves, and as she's walking away, they still continue to do it to him until she's out of sight. And then he goes, yeah, I know, but your girlfriend believes it. I know you don't, but your girlfriend <laughs> believes it. <laughs> like how fucking douchey. Because like at the end of that, the least you could have done is like not let her walk away. If you really feel the need to do these pranks that are potentially devastating, and heartbreaking and fucking cause trust issues. The least you can do is tell them it's a prank before they've left the vicinity. Even if you chased her down after and were like, hey, it's a prank. At that point, she's probably fucking crying and losing it and having like a breakdown in public or at least like close to it. I can't imagine how I would be feeling. You didn't even have the decency to tell her it was a prank before she left. Like what the fuck? If I was that guy, I'd be so so fucking mad. You also have to get her back into the state where she even wants to talk because clearly she picks up her shit. She's like, I'm done and is leaving. She's not listening anymore. She doesn't care to hear what any of you have to say because she believes that naturally as most people probably would if two people were coming up and being like, bro, what the fuck? You're cheating on her? You're cheating on her. Most people are not gonna assume that a stranger is doing that off of them for views and content. Hey guys, today we're gonna go break up this couple that's been together for three years and is engaged because I thought it'd be funny and also smack the like button. What's up guys? So today we made this person think that we ran over their dog and then we don't tell them that we actually have their dog for another 10 minutes. Watch them cry. I just, I don't understand where the limit is with videos like this because this is already too much. Oh shoot guys, there she comes. I'll be back, what are you doing? Let's go, I'm ready to go with you. Where? Well, wherever you're going, I'm going too. We're gonna just make this a party. No, I'm going to the store and I'll be right back. Yeah, uh, I'm going to the store too then, babe. Let's go. Let's roll. I'm going by myself. You can stay home. Why do you want to go by yourself? 
Stop acting ignorant. I'm just going there and back. Maybe you should check your phone then if you're just going there and back, bro. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going with you. Don't even start this nonsense with me. Why are you being where's, crazy? Where's I'm coming right back. Where's the neighbor? I guess at home. Exactly. She's at home. How convenient. So where are you going? I'm running to Kroger. Yeah, okay. Let's you can go. stay here. I am. <laughs> Okay, first of all, I want to say that I love her reaction specifically, like the no bullshit, no, where the fuck are you going? Let's go. I'll go. Let's have a party. I do love her attitude about it. But uh, I know I keep saying this, but it just feels like they, they take it and they stretch it beyond what they really even need for the content. Because like I said, I still don't think it's funny, but if you really are going to do a cheating prank and make some content off of it, don't make it to a point where it's going to reach like fighting levels, like emotional distress levels, breakdown levels. Why are you prolonging it? Because after a while, it's like just the same thing. It's just a couple going back and forth. It's just kind of upsetting. It's turned into a real fight at that point, if not for your side, for their side. So what's the point of having it last that fucking long? Because content wise, it just goes in circles and it's the same shit the entire video and it's also just causing more and more issues the longer you let it play but you just want that I don't get it I don't get it I don't get any of these I had some more but I think that's enough this is genuinely so fucking stupid to me don't cheat on your partner uh, don't put them through emotional distress for views Thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you really liked it. Links are in the description. Allie's Etsy's back open where they sell tarot readings. That'll also be in the description. And tune in next week where I prank my girlfriend into thinking that I caught our apartment on fire and that the entire thing has burned to the ground. Content, baby. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.